Today, the one-year anniversary of the gun massacre at Marjorie Stoneham Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. 14 students, three staff members murdered. Many of them took the day off today. And on this one-year anniversary of that worst mass murder at a U.S. campus in history, my interview with the mother of one of the victims, a native New Yorker who became a hero teacher at Douglas High School. She talks about the one-year anniversary and how she has turned her anguish into action against guns. It was a bloody rampage. Come on, follow me, follow me, follow me. Filled with hate and carnage from a former student's AR-15 assault rifle. Oh my God, oh my God. The school, indeed the nation, reacting with an outpouring of both sorrow and anger at the inaction of elected officials over the easy accessibility to weapons of mass destruction. Among those murdered, a 35-year-old geography teacher, Scott Beagle, a native of Dix Hills in Suffolk County. His mom still lives on Long Island. There's always sorrow. Every day when I wake up, I open my eyes and I, I say, uh, it's not a bad dream, every day. Scott broke protocol that day, and rather than bolt his classroom door shut, he opened the door in Building 12 and let students in. And for being a hero, Scott was shot and killed. I'm actually thinking about all the good that's come of such a tragedy. I decided that I was not going to mourn Scott's death, but I was going to celebrate his life. And um, my mission has become, it's been, and it will continue to be reasonable gun control. To mark the one-year anniversary, a powerful documentary premiering Friday night in New York City called Parkland, Inside Building 12. That's where the students and teachers were murdered. The producer, New York native and former reporter, Charlie Min. He sat down with many of the survivors and their first-hand accounts. She thought it was a drill. Everybody in the room kind of thought it was a drill. This is an up-close and personal and heart-wrenching account of a massacre from the people who survived. But there is one thing Min refused to do. I don't mention the killer's name in this film. Not once. No. I'm trying to start a movement where um, the media will follow my lead and stop acknowledging dirt bags hmm. a mother taking her pain and burnishing her son's legacy the documentary by the way parkland inside building 12 by charlie Mann opens tomorrow night for a week at the cinema village theater in greenwich village and you can see my entire interview with linda beagle shulman and charlie Mann on up close sunday morning at 11 right here on channel 7.